Mrs. Lam um, is withdrawing, formally withdrawing the extradition bill because she says she wants uh, to alleviate any concerns uh, that the Hong Kong public may have. As you've known for the past uh, three months now, uh, you know, tens of thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of protesters have taken to the street over the extradition bill. The controversial extradition bill, of course, critics were worried that uh, this could be a way in which uh, suspects are uh, on in in, on Hong Kong soil could be extradited back to China uh, to face unfair trials. Uh, of course, the proponents of the extradition bill had said that they wanted uh, to protect Hong Kong be from becoming a safe haven for fugitives. Uh, Mrs. Carrie Lam had already suspended the extradition bill uh, on June 15th after hundreds of thousands of people marched onto the streets of Hong Kong. She then said that the bill was dead nearly a, a month later on July uh, the ninth. However, uh, she never really uh, fully withdrew the bill, which would have needed her to have a legislative mechanism in order to do so. Uh, and also, protesters have since made that one of the demands, so she is acceding to only one out of the five demands uh, that protesters taking to the streets have demanded, the others being, of course, uh, the an independent inquiry uh, into uh, not just uh, the government's handling of the bill itself, but of course of police abuses, uh, the retraction of the term rioting uh, for the protest actions that have taken place so far, uh, as well as uh, the uh, call for universal suffrage and amnesty for protests already arrested. Now, she is only acceding to one of those five demands. The other four, the other three proposals she's making, of course, she's saying that she still fully supports the IPCC. That's the Independent uh, Police Complaints Council who oversees uh, CAPO, which is the Complaints Against Police Office. That's the first tier of people who are uh, making complaints against police abusers. They say the IPCC now in the midst of a fact-finding mission coming up with a study uh, to look into the protest actions that have begun since June to the 9th, right up to today. Uh, in its panel, it's included some uh, overseas uh, experts as well to find out what really happened. Many critics against the IPCC says that it doesn't have the same statutory powers as opposed to an independent commission of inquiry might have including the powers to call witnesses and to grant them anonymity. Of course, the other drawback critics say with the IPCC is it tends to be uh, run by ex-coppers. So it would be the case of ex-coppers uh, investigating uh, the police themselves. The other uh, proposals that she is making is that she wants to immediately start sincere and humble dialogue with all sectors of society. Uh, that includes she's inviting now uh, community leaders, business leaders, as well as academics to independently uh, examine the so-called deep-rooted problems that Hong Kong is facing. So, in effect, this is her olive branch to the Hong Kong people in order to try to give some breathing room as well as to create a more peaceful atmosphere so that Hong Kong can go back to business and also start counting the cost and examining uh, what Carrie Lam is calling deep-rooted problems that Hong Kong is facing. Mm. Well, Roland, what's been the reaction so far? I mean, this is clearly a win for protesters. It is a win for protesters, but uh, to put it succinctly, one student leader was giving a media conference earlier, and his response to Carrie Lam's withdrawal of the extradition bill was too little, too late. Now, we are already reading on online Reddit-like forums like LIHKG, uh, as well as uh, Telegram Messenger apps, uh, where, you know, these leaderless protesters usually uh, propose, discuss, and then enact protest actions on the streets. Now, they had already taken a poll uh, as to what to do next with the withdrawal of the bill. It does seem that there are still a lot of protesters out there their anger is still palpable. They are still demanding that all five demands be met or they will continue their protest actions going forward. And that's likely the response of the opposition camp as well. They say that uh, Carrie Lam 
uh, did not uh, did not withdraw the the bill earlier, and to, and her olive branch of trying to create an atmosphere for dialogue will not wash with the Hong Kong people. Mm. Well, thank you so much for bringing us up to speed, Roland. We were just speaking to our correspondent, Roland Lim, in Hong Kong.